This is tomatoes only. I'm gonna eat them while you're picking them. The Cuyahoga Falls Fresh Farm really came to be about four or five years ago. Some right there. You see them? We got a small $500 grant through the Cuyahoga Falls Alumni Association, and it was a way for my students to meet science standards, math standards, as well as independent living skills, activities, and job training through growing vegetables in the garden. Steve and I were talking about wanting to expand, so we decided to write a GAR grant. We were fortunate enough to get it. We added 27 more raised beds, along with rain saucers and a bunch of other equipment, and that's kind of where we're at now. Through this initiative, we really hope to use the garden as an extension of the classroom. So we've been able to work with special ed and general education together on a number of projects. There was a student who was out gardening, helping us out, and said, she got really involved in it. She goes, I didn't know I liked this until I started doing this. I didn't know how to garden or do anything before, and I would get like super frustrated. So now I just feel like very calm when I do it. I didn't even know I liked gardening until I started doing it. Doing something like this, you start to realize the value in um, doing things for yourself and being able to watch progress. When you're growing something or building something, you get to see it grow and progress and move on. You learn the value of patience and waiting for things to come, like when you're in a different class and you're really struggling with something or you're like, I just want to understand this, I just want to get it. It's like, well, you know, it's like working in the garden or growing something. It'll come over time. You just got to keep working at it and tending to it. Probably how much food do we get? We have like close to 20 pounds. Most of our food that we grow, we pick and we donate it to good neighbors. We get deliveries every week from the school. Peppers, carrots, tomatoes, corn, onions, beans. This is all natural. This is this is good, healthy food. It was one of the best ideas that the school system came up with. I think it teaches the kids how to have some empathy for other people, and they're teaching about how to, you know, help people that need help. My favorite part, I will like grabbing green peppers and stuff, and Sam and the good neighbors. One of the teachers at DeWitt wanted to start something similar that we had started and Steve and I got a lot of help with this and just asking questions and calling people up so it's just pass it on you know just send it on down and then they can help another elementary school or a middle school and just kind of just want to you just do it. We call them Steve and Steve at the high school and they've offered their services and they've come down actually last year with our students and planted sunflowers and marigolds from seeds and so the students were able to start little by that and we're hoping to build on that by taking field trips up to the high school and they're coming down to help us plant and grow things. Today I was, it looked so good and I was so excited and I told short that it looked like they took a crane, they took out the old courtyard and they put it in a new courtyard. We're just looking forward to them just helping us show us how to run um, a sustainable garden, show us the importance of gardening and just different ways that we can benefit our community through that. For these teachers their passion cross paths with a need and what we found interesting and maybe unexpected was that kids needed to get their hands dirty. Kids needed to sweat. Kids needed to have independence. That wasn't a need we were trying to meet in the project, but it might be the most pivotal one we did find. We're just here to make the lives of students and teachers better. Take a risk to create conversation about what could be.